Hey there, EFCA West. I'm on a little hike right now, but I wanted to throw four things at you really quick. First of all, becoming a better preacher during COVID. Is it possible? Well, I interviewed a guy named Dr. Lucas O'Neill last week on a podcast that we did. He is the like the professor of homiletics over at Trinity Evangelical Divinity School. And uh, absolutely, there are ways that you can continue to get better at your craft. And we talked about that for an hour as part of a, a new podcast that we have basically launched. And when I was trying to think of like what would be a good title for an EFCA West podcast, and so I thought about it over and over again, and I came up with this brilliant name. You ready for this? The EFCA West Podcast. So that's what it's going to be. And our first episode that we're releasing is basically this one with Dr. Lucas O'Neill. You got to check it out, download it, listen to it. It's about an hour long. And tell me what you think. And uh, it's just a good way of, of mining your skills, you know, and, and keeping the input there. Second thing is I went to Tucson last week. And I just had a fantastic time with uh, four at four great churches. So first I stopped at Hope Community Church and kind of in the northern part of Tucson, hung out with Pastor Randy Brainerd, who's the fan, founding pastor. And they meet in a high school, but they've got 10 acres of land. They're hoping that even through all this crisis, they can still break ground on that pretty soon. And so the picture you see there is with one of his associate guys, uh, Kevin Mason, who recently got uh, licensed through EFCA. And then, of course, the person that I guess really runs the church is uh, was Gina there. She's in the picture, Gina Braun. The next, after that, I went down to Grace Point in the southern area of Tucson, and I hung out with uh, Pastor Randy Hammonds and Pastor Bob Allen. And those guys, they are, um, they're planning on doing a, uh, a, another, building another auditorium pretty soon. They really want to be a church and continue to be a church that's reaching all the people around them. They have a diverse community. I loved hearing their heart, the things they've been doing. Pastor Bob is a, kind of a mainstay in e EFCA. Uh, he's planted a number of churches and just been faithful in his calling. So I so appreciated hearing his story and the things that, that he's done over the years. And they've got a great future, you know. And from there, I went down to to Green Valley Evangelical Free Church and hung out with Pastor Steve Lavalette. And Green Valley is is a cool place because it's 55 and over, basically much of the community. But and so their church is is kind of like that, you know. They don't have children's ministry or student ministry, so they give away like 50 percent of their offerings just to local and and uh, world missions and very involved in, in those uh, efforts. In fact, they've planted, they're on their second church plant, and they planted a church recently in a nearby area that's just grown incredibly fast and doing a great ministry to families all around. And so it was so fun talking to him and hearing uh, his vision and seeing what God's doing there. And then finally, I went over and hung out with Pastor Jim Roden over at uh, Journey uh, Evangelical Free Church. And he's got a huge heart for special needs ministry. And so he's got a ministry called Friends for Life. And it's really prominent in the area in that secular part of Tucson. Really, I mean, all of Tucson is secular, but this is a this particularly unchurched area. But they've all responded well to to what he has tried to do. And it's just cool to see that, you know. So there's other churches in the, in the you know, southern part of Arizona. I didn't get the chance to visit this time, but I was so encouraged by what God is doing through these men and women, um, these leaders in, in, in our churches who are doing everything they can during this difficult season to keep the, keep the gospel moving forward. The other thing I want to let you know is that uh, you may not know this, but I am a chaplain in the United States Air Force Reserve. And so this week I'm going to be doing some reserve duty over at Luke Air Force Base, which isn't too far from my house. And we're doing a little thing where we're uh, we're packing a whole bunch of backpacks, I think about a thousand, uh, to give to military families um, in on, you know, on the base so their kids can go back to school and have the needed school supplies. And of course, that's kind of disrupted because of COVID. But being a chaplain is a, is such a wonderful ministry for me. It's a way for me to keep kind of a, a one foot into the world and see what's going on there. And so I'm excited about that, being a part of that this week. Finally, um, some news I, I'm not happy to talk to you about. And that is that um, our administrative assistant, Sochi Kachon, who's who uh, is just so much of the lifeblood of what happens in our ministry. Her father passed away this past weekend after a long battle. Um, he had been doing dialysis for a long time and just fought really hard. 
And um, so he finally passed away. So please be praying for her. Our team, our EFCA West team is grieving with the Cachon family. Um, but I tell you, it was, it was amazing to see how, um, how Sochi really fulfilled her role as a, as a godly daughter and was there for him to take care of him. And it was a really a huge thing that I would I really admire the way she did that. So if you think about it, shoot her an email, just tell her, you know, send her condolences, tell her you're praying for her. Um, and uh, this is a this is a tough time for her. She really loved her dad. Well, I hope that in the middle of everything that's going on, you are continuing to find strength and peace in the hope of the Lord. That you're not isolated. You're staying hopefully close to a few people that can remind you of of your calling and of God's love. And um, we're always here for you, always ready to help and serve in any way we can. Have an incredible week, and I hope to see you soon. God bless.